Hey everybody, a lot of you have been asking how I do my green screens. The worst part about tutorials is the intro, so I'm not gonna do it, let's jump in. Here is Adobe Premiere, I'm gonna drop in my footage. There I am. We still have this upper bit that we wanna get rid of. So the first thing you get to do, is go over to your effects control panel, hit that little box under opacity. This is a mask, I'm gonna hit inverted so I see the opposite of what I'm gonna end up with. So I'm just gonna put this over my footage where I want it to end up. I'm going to feather it a little bit, click the inverted again, and here we are. We're gonna drop in our footage that we want underneath. I can see it up there, so that looks good. I'm gonna save, because you always gotta save. Hit Control S as many times as you can. That looks pretty good. Now, come over to Lumetri Color, and you're gonna scroll down. Don't do this in the basic correction. You gotta go to HSL Secondary. I'm talking secondary. You're gonna take your color dropper, there's add and remove, hit color slash gray, and you're just gonna select uh, select some greens. Where it is green, it's where you've already selected. You don't have to select that again. Where it's white, it's something you haven't selected. So you can select here. If you make a mistake, oh whoops, you can control Z, or you can, um, you can actually use the minus to pull it back out, uh, but just don't make a mistake. All right, so uh, we can see down here, none of this is selected, so we're gonna select more. But at a certain point, you're going to uh, start to see like uh, some of your footage come through and that's bad. So you can zoom all the way in, there's a little zoom function over here, and you can try to get closer and closer and closer, but at a certain point, you're gonna wanna use these guys to, see, there you go, and get a little bit closer. But I go too far and I start to see these uh, dark spots on my footage. And that's bad, really bad. And on my hair, ugh. Uh, so use the dropper a lot. Uh, and this, just sparingly. Get a nice line. Once you get a nice line around here, now we're gonna move on. You can blur it if you want uh, more of like a halo effect. I want it to be really super clean. So I'm gonna try to get the, the cleanest cookie cutter line I can get. Now, go to correction, click the three bubbles, and go green, and then go green, and then go green. Just trying to make this look like something that doesn't exist in nature, would never exist in our footage. Shadows goes up, highlights goes down a little bit, and midtones up. Trying to, to make all of this uniform. Temperature, we're gonna put this one all the way to the right. Tint all the way to the left. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Saturation all the way up. I'm gonna put contrast all the way up. Oh yeah. Okay, now we pop back to color and gray. Are you ready? Oh yeah. So now we go up to our effects panel and do ultra and put ultra key at the end. You gotta put it after these effects. Don't put it before Lumetri Color, put it after and get that color dropper. And here we go. Magic. Looks great. Now there's stuff you can do within uh, the ultra key. I recommend doing as much of it as you can in HSL secondary in Lumetri. Uh, but there's some nice stuff like the hue. If your footage is getting like a green hue, you can fix that here by going a little bit to the left and that'll add some reds. I'm actually going to turn the luminescence up a little bit just because my footage takes place out outdoors. I buy it. Looks pretty good. Now remember this, this bit under my legs. Okay. <laughs> I am going to Let's see if we can get rid of it. Okay, 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 that looks pretty good. Let's just do one more pass. Yeah, a little bit of tintage under the leg. Let be adults, okay, we're all adults here. We can handle it. There you go. Okay, so we're seeing these little, little bops and bips popping out now. This is what you wanna be careful with. For the bops and bips, I'm gonna actually go over to the ultra key, matte cleanup, that's what we're looking at. Contrast and choke, yes. Choke's gonna take care of lots of the bops. So when we add the bops and bips in, the, the legs look great, but we start to get some artifacts around the hair. That's just what you're gonna get. The darker stuff starts to go away. Well, the darker stuff is in my hair too, so. I don't know, I buy it. So there you go, you green screened. I'm really proud of you, you did it. Thank you to the Patreon donors for making all these videos possible. If you wanna help it as well, you can go to patreon.com slash classical trombone. I have an album, it's called The Half Man, Half Machine. It's on uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, um, Spotify, all that good stuff. That album sounds a little something like this. <laughs>